for President Trump is pulling the plug on the Florida part of his Republican National Convention. CBS reporter Natalie Brown live for us in Washington, D.C. today to explain why. Natalie? Good evening, Veronica. Well, the sheriff of Jacksonville, Florida, started raising significant concern about the convention a few days ago. Then tonight, this huge reversal from the president, who had hoped for in-person events and festivities in Florida up until now. He's now called off that portion of the convention, although the RNC says a scaled-back number of delegates from each state is still expected to travel to Charlotte, North Carolina, for official convention. Business. President Trump announced he's canceling the Republican National Convention festivities in Jacksonville, Florida. The timing for this event is not right. It's just not right with what's happened recently, the flare up in Florida. I'll still do a convention speech in a different form, but we won't do a big crowded convention per se. But the president still encouraged schools to reopen amid heightened safety precautions. The decision should be made based on the data and the facts on the grounds in each community, but every district should be actively making preparations to open. Earlier, White House negotiators and congressional Republicans said they've reached a fundamental agreement on a phase four COVID relief bill. We will be laying down this proposal early next week. The Treasury Secretary says the trillion dollar proposal includes more than $100 billion for schools and universities, but some Republicans are still balking at the price tag overall, while Democrats say it doesn't go far enough. The Republican legislative response to COVID is ununified, unserious, unsatisfactory. One sticking point could be unemployment benefits, with the additional $600 payments championed by Democrats due to expire in days. Secretary Mnuchin says Republicans want to extend those benefits to cover 70% of lost wages. Why do they have to make a fuss over $600, which means a lot to many working families? I would not support something that would uh, pay on unemployment <clears throat> more than you would earn if you were working. White House negotiators are hopeful a final bill will be ready for a vote by the end of next week. Some tough negotiations there still ahead. Now back here to the developments at the White House out of this press briefing. While well, the president, you heard him, encouraged schools to reopen. He also said that districts in hotspot cities or states may need to consider delaying, saying that's up to the governors. So that is a shift in his tone on this issue of schools as well. Also new tonight, the CDC has now posted its additional guidance on reopening school safely on its website, Veronica. All right, Natalie Brown, we appreciate it.